Welcome to the last video. This is now stage 4 and I will say congratulations, you are part of the 4 members to represent your country in ICHO. Now here we come to some tips to prepare for the actual competition for the theory, the theoretical exam. That's worth 60% of the whole score. So you really could excel in this right, to get a very good medal or fulfill your potential. Now, we know that in the three exams, there's certain high-level knowledge and there's certain knowledge in the syllabus, but they will all revolve around these topics, the physical chemistry, analytical, inorganic, organic, and the proportion is in general, one-third, one-third, and then one-third physical. Now, and from past year experiences, the paper is worth, maybe there are like one to 12 questions in the whole paper, and about one-third of it will be a physical, one third will be this, the last third will be that. And the arrangement is pretty standard. You always start with question one, two, three with physical questions, and in the middle will be something of analytical, inorganic. And towards the very end, the last few questions is always about organic chemistry, and that could come up to four questions. So a very common mistake students make is right, when they are very stressed to start exam, they always begin with question one, page one, and then they encounter some very difficult physical problem, which might not be their strength, and then they get stuck. And they tell themselves, hey, I know this, I've practiced so many times, I know this. And then they spend too much time there, and towards the end when they say, 30 minutes death. And then they panic because they haven't even read a single organic problem. And when the mental spark is like, oh my goodness, these organic problems are so easy. This student is so good, but there's no time for the person to finish, it's all blank. It's such a waste. So I would say, start with what you're good at. If you're very good and inept with uh, adapt with uh, doing organic problems, please start with this. You don't have to follow through question 1 to 12. If you're good with math or you like physical um, chemistry, start from the beginning. You know? Check all the pages first, right? Go through Q1, Q2, Q3, all the way and see. I like this. I'm confident. Do it first because once you start writing, you're confident. The marks are in your bag. The moment that you don't start writing, you don't get any points. Why check all pages? First of all, to know what are the problems and topics being exposed to you, and also, you don't want to miss out any single questions. You have seen brilliant students right, getting full marks, and then in the middle there's a page that's blank, and we're wondering, what happened? And in the end, when we ask the person, we say, oh my god, I didn't even see the page, because they double flip the page. It's just too bad, you know, <laughs> such a pity. Next point is, you could check a work. Well, of course, there's error carry forward in the marking scheme, good for you, but it's still better to just you know, do it right from the top. Because right, when you have a very funny number that you know that it doesn't make sense, sometimes that affects your feeling. And because we're human, we are a little bit emotional, and sometimes we get very fuzzy about, you know, why is it something that I don't expect? And that will affect the later on questions. So always check, you know, make sure you're doing your calculations right, you're answering everything right, right? Make sure there's no mistake. And lastly, you don't have to finish all. This may sound counterintuitive. Now imagine the test has 12 questions. And you do all these first three points for question 1 to 11. Which means that after doing question 1 to 11, you're so sure that you can get full marks from them. Then question 12, that could be worth maybe 7% of the whole examination. I think it's okay to forego it. Don't you think so? Because if you can get all these almost correct with much confidence, there's about 93% left of the marks. I think you're good to go. So there's just some bit of my tips for you for the three exams in ICHO. Take care.